In this video, you will brainstorm ideas for a doodle based on this year's theme. You or your teacher can pause the video as you work on each step, or you can watch the entire video, then complete all the steps. Making a doodle is fun, but to make it the best it can be, you'll need to think and plan. Brainstorming will help you come up with ideas for the theme. While you brainstorm, you can create your own characters to use in your doodle. However, your doodle cannot include any of your favorite characters from TV shows, movies, or video games. To start brainstorming, think about this year's Doodle for Google theme. Ask yourself questions to guide your thinking. There are no wrong answers. Just have fun. Then, add your ideas to a piece of paper or your computer. Start with a free write. It's a great way to brainstorm your ideas. Free writing means writing a list of the words that you can think of when you hear the theme. Work for five minutes or however much time your teacher allows. You can write down lots of different types of words that relate to the theme, including feelings, objects, and more. Try to write at least 10 words or ideas or whatever number your teacher tells you to write. For example, if the theme was, when I grow up, I hope, you might write words that name jobs you like to have, like veterinarian or computer programmer, or things you want to have when you're older, like family or to have a happy life. You will use your brainstorming ideas later when you begin your doodle. For now though, begin your brainstorm on this year's theme. After you come with some ideas, come back here to continue watching. Let's pause here so we can start brainstorming. Great job brainstorming. Gathering your ideas helps you to get ready to create your doodle. Another good way to prepare is to practice doodling. You can practice by thinking of how to turn the letters in Google into objects or other designs that fit the theme. For example, if the theme is, when I grow up, I hope, one of your brainstorm ideas might be, I hope to be a teacher. Think of objects that different teachers might use in their classrooms. Turn those objects into letters. This takes some imagination, but you can do it. There are so many different ways to use your ideas to create a doodle. You can use the shape of the letters as they appear or change them completely to make your own shapes and styles. Use scratch paper to practice on your own or with your class to make a sketch of each letter in the word Google or of the whole word together. For the idea, when I grow up, I hope to be a teacher. When you are done, return to the video. Let's pause here so you can practice doodling. Way to go. Now that you have practiced doodling, look at your brainstorming list again. Remind yourself about the theme for this year's doodle. Read through your list. Think about why you added each idea. Which one makes you the most excited? Also, think about which ideas will work best for creating the artwork that will become your doodle. In the next video, we'll talk about the ideas you decide to use for your final doodle. You will share the objects and designs you added to your work, why you chose those things, and what this year's theme means to you. For now, think about how you would turn your ideas into a doodle that uses the word Google. Go ahead and take some time to practice creating your doodle. You can use lots of different materials and styles when you practice your doodle from drawing and coloring with markers or crayons to creating something on a computer. Your doodle can even be three-dimensional. Ask your teacher about other materials and styles you might be able to use. Test out a few different materials and styles by tracing the letters from the entry form to a piece of scrap paper. Or if you are changing the design of the letters, 
practice drawing them freehand. When you're finished practicing, choose the one idea that you think will make your best doodle. Okay, let's practice. Return to the video when you're done. Let's pause for a moment to practice. Finish practicing? Great. It's time to get doodling. Before you begin your final doodle, make sure you have your doodle idea, your etching form with the letters G-O-O-G-L-E, a blank piece of paper, or another format that can be photographed or scanned to be entered in the contest, and your art supplies. While you design your doodle, do your best to be artistic and creative. Use the theme and the letters in the Google logo together to make a doodle that is unique and interesting. If you are not sure how to get started, use another piece of paper to trace the letters in Google. Then use one material, such as markers, and add some colors or draw some pictures on the letters until you feel like you're ready to start. Or you can start by drawing the objects themselves and decide how they might be turned into or used with the letters in Google. Now. It's your turn. There is no right or wrong way to make your doodle as long as you use your own ideas. Just have fun and do your best. Good luck with your doodle.